As our 2020 focus on the push for equality continues, we're taking you to Allegheny County, where the only African American community is about to undergo a rebirth. 10 News anchor Lindsay Ward sat down with community members from Wrightsville to see where they've been and where they're going. In the 1960s, the government used eminent domain to take a large portion of Allegheny County's only African American community to build Interstate 64. It forced homeowners like Liz Jordan's parents to move their house. I can remember when they moved two homes. They put them on a truck and moved them from where I-64 sits now. So if you've ever traveled on I-64 through Covington, you've driven on the land that was once part of Wrightsville. This map hanging inside the neighborhood museum shows just how large the community used to be. What's left? Where where are we now? This is where we are now. Right here. Okay. This. This is where we are. That small triangle. Yes. Yes. What's left now sits off a busy Route 220. We are small, but we're big in heart. And on the hearts of families left in Wrightsville, the hope of sprucing up their historic neighborhood. The road to restoring Wrightsville started several years ago with a community conversation. Neighbors coming together, reminiscing how things used to be and used to look. So we were like, what can we do to spruce our little community up? I went to our representative and I was like, hey, you know, our community is rural and rustic. It could use some improvements um, um, for infrastructure and housing. They secured a grant to preserve Wrightsville's rich history. Archie and Mary Wright founded the community in 1867 after Archie's owner gave him freedom from slavery on a nearby farm. He worked, saved his money, purchased a parcel of land. Mm -hmm. As he would purchase land, he would sell land, purchase, sell. Mm -hmm. And that's how Wrightsville came to be. Dr. Calvin McClinton is the great-grandson of the founders. People found that history of my past exciting and said, why aren't you, you know, you have legacy. Why aren't you doing something with that? And I'm like, ah, who wants to know anything about that? It's just history. It's boring. Taking their advice, he started an annual festival in Wrightsville, celebrating the contributions of African Americans. But still, the community realized Wrightsville needed updating. However, change was on the way. In 2019, Wrightsville was awarded $1.4 million, the largest amount given to any project. I think um, there's a sowing season in your life, and then there's a harvest season. And I think at this point, it's harvest time for Wrightsville. Their harvest season comes in 2020, when the nation has watched the fight against racial inequalities play out on their screens, something not lost on Dr. McClinton. I think it, it's interesting that all of this is coming to a head at the same time. He hopes the hard work and success of Wrightsville leaders will serve as an example to similar communities. It's really important for us to listen to come up with a plan and then put it into action, not to just gripe, gripe, gripe. I don't have this, I don't have that, they're doing this to me, I can't get that. But stop and say, all right, so there are these inequalities. How can I change that? What do I need to do to, to change, to make that change actionable? While they preserve the past, they look to the future and all that will be after work is complete. I see it as a place that actually potentially in my mind to be a tourist location. I'm looking forward to when people can come and say, wow, I did not know this was here. And that was Lindsay Ward reporting the grant from the Department of Housing and Community Development will pay for upgrades to roads, drainage and housing.